What's up guys? So now that we have the full specs of the Mavic Air 2, a lot of people are wondering if they should get it or take advantage of the discount price of the current Mavic Air. Now, I was going to list out all of these specs and compare them one by one, but then I realized how boring that would be. So let's go ahead and break this down into five different categories. So we have price, endurance, photo, video, and technology. Now, price. Hands down, the MA1 is going to win in this category, mostly because the price is going to be much less. You can find them right now very much discounted and on clearance, but I also want to factor in the cost of accessories and the cost of resale. With an MA1, you will have access to all of the accessories that already fit into the Mavic ecosystem where the MA2 will be requiring a whole new slew of accessories, including tablet holders, ND filters, strobe lights, and more. So you'll have to pay more for the MA2 accessories than you will for the MA1. The only area here that the MA2 will win in is the resale value of the new MA2 will be more since it's, well, a newer product. Now on to endurance. The Mavic Air 2 is going to win in this category. With 10 kilometer transmission range using OcuSync 2.0 and an 18 and a half kilometer flight range, as well as the staggering 34 minute flight time. If you're considering the Mavic Air 1, remember the battery life is rated for 66% more in the Air 2. So again, Mavic Air 2 wins in that category. Now photo, once again, the Mavic Air 2 is gonna blow the competition out of the water with 48 megapixel stills compared to the Air 1's 12 megapixel. So we're gonna give that one to the Mavic Air 2 as well. Now for video, this one is a little harder because both of them can do 4K video, but this is where the Mavic Air 2 is going to set itself apart with 4K 60p, something not even the Mavic 2 Pro can do. Currently only available in the Phantom 4 Pro in that prosumer DJI segment. Now the Air 2 is also able to transmit 1080p video back to your controller versus 720p from the Air 1. So we're going to give the video category again to the Mavic Air 2. Now the last category is technology. So the Mavic Air 2 again is probably going to dominate this category with it getting all of DJI's latest and greatest technology packed into its small form. The Mavic Air 1 may be smaller than the Air 2, but the Air 2 pretty much beats it in every other way. If you're considering the Air 1 or the Air 2, think about what means the most to you. If price is your greatest factor, then go ahead and get yourself a discounted Air 1 or even a secondhand one for much cheaper. But if money is no object, the Air 2 is a clear winner. So let me know what you think in the comments, uh, which is the better buy. Which one are you going to get? And what features are you looking forward to trying out the most? Don't forget to like and subscribe as I'm going to be comparing more of the DJI drones against the new Mavic Air 2. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.